So, welcome spectators to another highlight video. GTE Thunder Masters today was held on Monday, January 24th at Sebring. There's the track, 5.9 kilometers track, 17 curves. It was a it was a military air base, I think, in the World War II. Became a racetrack, very famous for the bumps, especially in the last corner. So there are some rules. Rules. So we have six rounds, one drop round, uh, once a month on Monday. Race time will be 75 minutes. Yeah, um, tire usage two times, 100% damage. So and we use live weather, of course, on all our race servers. The points, yeah, you get points for quality and for fastest laps in the race. So top 10 gets points for quality and fastest lap in the race. And yeah, points for finishing the race, of course. So the qualifying is uh, very important and away we go. Uh, to the pole setter. Oh, very close to the barrier. Uh, Dugoketsky for Team Speed Eagles. Uh, he drove the pole lap. As you see, it was his 11th, 11th lap in the quality 159.076. First sector was not the best, second sector was his personal best and the last sector was a purple, so that means it was the best sector from, from all, all around, yeah. 5.1% means 5.1% uh, liters of fuel in the tank left, 100% would be full tank. So very low fuel of course in the quality. And he used some tire on the front right for this lap, so let's see what he can do. You can see the throttle input, it's green and the brake is uh, red on the down left side. Yeah, the new UI from Air Factor makes things better, definitely. Looks way better. So this lap was drove on uh, soft tires as we see, he takes the corner very good. Very clean, very clean lap. He goes right into the last section of the track. Very bumpy track, as you see. The curbs are very dangerous. Always have to watch out. Yeah, do not spin. This corner, you have to really, really uh, get into the inside, into the yeah inside of the curb, and the curb is very bumpy. So, was very clean from him. So, no wonder he got the pole on this one. Very fast. Let's see how he managed to go through the last corner, which is maybe the, the most difficult part. So here the bump can take you off. Yeah, very close to the wall. Good line. Early on the throttle, third gear. Yeah, there he is. Well done. For the pole position, Mr. Dugoketsky from Poland. That's his skin. Beautiful. Team Speed Eagles will have a second driver for this second race, so welcome. I forgot the name right now, but yeah, we will see him for race two. So there are the results, as we see the drivers going on the formation lap, ready to start the race. Manual formation lap here, single file. Dugoketsky P1, Speed Eagles, Sovic for 80 cores, P2, Kowalski for Kowalski Motorsports, P3, Page for, uh, yes, CR Racing on P4, and uh, already we go, it's green, lights out. Yeah, Kowalski tries to challenge Sovic, so Kowalski in the C8, Sovic in the C7 in the red one. Oh, Kowalski is still white. On the front you see Speed Eagles car from Dugoketsky and uh, Andy Page is in the CR Racer, the Red Bull car. Viani already challenges Di Marzio, who has a wrong skin. It's it's uh, an error, we will, yeah, we will make it better for race two. Oh, there was a big scratch. So two drivers had problems, Schulz and Gedeke. Gedeke manages to come back on P10. Schulz is on P11 behind him. And Wolf already tries to go inside of Kirk and he does. So the, the other CR Racing car, he, he did not qualify, he started from the back, he's already on P8. So good start for Wolf in the CR Racing Red Bull edition. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you see them all go as 1 hour and 13 minutes to go. So we copy to Page, challenges Kowalski again. It looks like Page is on, on a different strategy. I think he has lower fuel, 
So Kowalski is on medium tires. Dukoketsky is on hard tires. Sovik is on medium tires. Uh, and yeah, Page is on soft tires. So he he w maybe does a two-stop strategy. Who knows? All others seem to be on one stop. So Ike is on soft as well. K Kirk is on soft. Schultz is on medium. Gedik is on hard. Watch out. Oh, as track. we hear someone speaking. <laughs> yeah, we take the footage from the live stream. Oh, Paige is challenging. It looks good. He's very good into this corner. When you have lower fuel. Of course, he's outside. He opens the gap, it seems to. He doesn't want to waste time. He thinks, ah, oh, Paige, come. Let's go, man. I'll try to stick behind you and I have a different strategy anyway. So Paige is through. P3. A Paige already there to challenge Dukoketsky, who made a mistake. He's P2 all already ah oh, yeah he was off in, in the corner one now I remember so Sovik P1 Dukoketsky P3 Dimatsu who is in the wrong skin he doesn't have the Speed Eagles car so Dimatsu drives for the team Takahashi Racing Division so we will fix the skin for the next race so he overtakes Wolf a wolf all takes him back. Look at them as the sun is rising up in the back. Very nice move. Very well done. Wolf is on P7. Can he now try to make a gap between him and Dimarzo? So one hour nine to go. Page challenging Duketsky. Duketsky is outside. Yeah, he lets Page through. He lost lots of momentum there. That's for sure. Wolf now challenging Viani. Let's see if we can uh, overtake him. He goes left. Viani lets him the space on the left. Wolf breaks late, very brave. And he gets the position. Nice one. So for Wolf, everything is clear. Clear to go. He has the. Oh no! What is that? Viani ramps right into him. It looks like Wolf has little suspension damage. I think, he, I think he can continue for now, but it doesn't look good for him. That's what I can tell you. And Dimazio just uses the chance to overtake Viani. Viani tries to somehow challenge him on the straight, but it looks like Dimazio is in front. And oh, Viani! That looked like, an, like a breaking failure or something. So Viani is out. I can tell you he will DNF now and he will come back. And he loses two laps. So he basically had a break failure there on his pedal. So Gedike, Wolf was outside, DNF'd as well. So Wolf is out, Gedike snatches the position for Wolf. Dugoketsky now, made a mistake on these hot tires. It seems he has problems, he struggles in the first stint. So Kowalski gets through, he now has to defend. So when we don't, don't have the material, it, I'm, I'm just sorry. Because it wasn't on the live stream then, on the cam, on the automatic cam we use. So for now I don't have the time to edit it in, but uh, maybe in future. So Cook tries to go uh, on Dimazio. Cook seems to get faster now. Dimazio is very, very strong as well in the first, uh, yeah, sec section of the race. Kowalski then, oh no! On this medium tires he struggles to find grip in the first corner and he slides out. Dugoketsky says thank you, hello, there I am on the hard tires in front of you. So the first stop, as expected, Andy Page comes uh, very early, 24% race distance, uh, yeah, 58.9% refuel, so he takes some fuel with him and he switches to the soft, so he, he uses the same tires. This stop will take some time because the refueling takes a lot of time. So the usual strategy is to start with more fuel already. Uh, Dimazio then comes in with the medium tires, goes out with the hard tires. Oh, I can see he has a drive through penalty. He speeded in the pit lane, I think. I think I saw something there. So Schultz then tries to the C7 against the C8, the Corvettes. 80 cores, Alexander Schultz, the teammate of Sovik, tries to overtake Gedicke, who drives for Snake Racing. Not now, it seems to. Oh, a mistake from Gedicke. Oh, Schulz is right there. He breaks earlier, but now he has a good line through. Yeah, he's on the back. 
the nice sound from the C7 and he pushes on the straight. Very good on the straight, this car. Yes, there he goes on the right side of Gedike. And you ca could see the nice snake racing logo on the back. Very well done, this custom skins. And Schultz gets, yeah, gets it done. He's through position six. So it looks good for 80 cores. Sovik on P1, Schultz on P6. There it is, the Marzio receives stop and go penalty for speeding in pit lane. So there he has to go. Uh, yeah, he had some problems with the pit stops, so that we will see that later. So he got overtaken now by someone. No, he's already on P9 and Viani is two laps behind because of the problem with the brake. And he yeah, literally closed air factor and came back. So Kowalski then on P2. Finally found some groove because Dugoketsky made a mistake again, it looks like. So Dugoketsky, so both struggle, Sovik has a way better run on the mediums. Uh, but both, Kowalski and Dugoketsky have problems with the tires, with the medium and hard. I think they want to switch to soft later. So Dimasu again comes in for his second stop. He goes on a hard tire, so the red one is the hard. The orange one is the medium and the, and the yellow one is the soft. That's stop number two. Plus drive through already. So very early. Um, doesn't look good for his uh, race. I mean, he can try to stay P9 at least and, and hope for people to uh, not finish maybe. So Page then, with his uh, yeah two-stop strategy, has to overtake and does so. Uh, is back on P7, tries to gain some positions. Very well done. So Vianney then in the pit. 32% race distance, 53% refueled. And he switches tires to the soft ones. It looks that he had uh, medium on the front and soft on the rear. Uh, and now switches to completely soft. So that's possible. You can, you can try that. The next one in the pit is uh, Mr. Tevs. Uh, for UFP racing in the Ferrari. So he switches from soft to soft. And refuel 62%. So the refueling takes long time. So the, the guys on the front, they usually take a very long first stint. So they already have the fuel in when they start. Kowalski then comes uh, into the pit 53%. That, let's see how that develops. Because uh, yeah, he can win the race with this strategy right now. He goes on soft. He has to be very fast now and tries to... Yeah, maintain the, the tires until the end. 35 minutes to go in the race. Cook then f in for the pit stop. Uh, yeah, he switches to soft tires. Refuse 38%. Gets overtaken right now by Tefs and Schultz. So he loses positions. But he did his stop already. We have mandatory pit stop anyway for this cup. And the car doesn't have that much fuel to go 75% without the pit stop anyway. So you will have to refuel a bit. Anyway, page 10 for his second stop. Let's see, he will not lose a position, I think. It looks like a fast stop, up and down. So, uh, Dugoketsky then, P2, P1, because Sovik is in the pit. We saw him on the left side. We will just switch to him soon. Uh, Sovik changes tires, and look, he only changes the front tires to soft he didn't change the rear tires so he has used medium tires i don't know if that's a good strategy will we see him succeed or struggle so kowalski is right behind him like eight to nine seconds kowalski with the best lap time now 200.066 um yeah that will be close so dugo Ketsky, kowalski and sovik go for the win let's see who can do it a little different strategy from all those three so Gedi can now in he switches from the hard to the medium tires. That's his first stop. Yes. And the next one is Schultz coming. Now the pit stop begin. Like 30 minutes to go. 28 minutes to go. 61% distance. 45% refueled. Yep. Schultz is switching to the same compound he was on. It's the medium tires. So. Let's see how that race develops at the end. So Dugoketsky now. Will he come to the pit? 25 minutes ago, yes, he will. So his hard tire, which he struggled so much, but he could drive so so long. Now he switches to the soft tire, so that will affect, of course, Kowalski because uh, Kowalski will have 10 
uh, yeah, 10 laps all the tires, so at the end of the race it could be very close between those two. Sovic, it looks like, made a mistake, Kowalski got through Sovic already. So Sovic has a problem, I think he will come to the pit again to switch tires, it looks like. Because he did a strategic mistake there, his crew did not inform him, so it, it looks okay for 80 cores, but it will not be the win no more. I'm pretty sure. Kowalski now on P1, so his strategy is now to maintain the tire. As Dugoketsky comes out and has to push like crazy, like 25 minutes of qualifying laps to get Kowalski now. Sovic 10 seconds behind, but that will be no problem for, for a fresh tired Dugoketsky against the yeah, used medium tire on the back of Sovic's car. What is he doing? So Andy Marzo then, for his fourth stop, he changes the tires to soft finally. He decided to leave the hard alone and as he cannot gain positions anyway, he... Yeah, he tries out some things. I think he said as well he had some problems with the pit stop, so he's pretty new to Air Factor, I think. Yeah, you, yeah. let's see. Kowalski on P1. Four, so, 20 minutes to go. 14 seconds in front of Dugoketsky. Sovic already P3, so Dugoketsky overtook Sovic. And Tefs is on 5. Cook is on 6. Uh, Tefs is on 4. Cook is on 5. Schultz is on 6. Viani with a penalty now. Uh, the penalty was for cutting the track. There he comes in for the drive through. Di Marzo is P8. Viani is P9. Yeah. So Gedeke with a quiet race, but on P7 that should give him a lot of points. Yeah, Viani will finish at P9 if he finishes. But yeah, we will see what, if someone will DNF or not. What will happen? We have two DNF already. Did not finishers. Sove comes into his second pit stop. And he changes now completely to the soft tire. So we will have some pace at the end. But he's too far away to uh, for P1 and 2. It will be very close between him and Tefs at the exit. Tefs is coming right here behind on the Ferrari for UFP Racing. So Sovic with 80 cores comes right in front of Tefs. Tefs tries to catch him. But on the fresh tires, Sovic is just better. And yeah, can maintain a nice gap. And yeah, even closing. He He's very fast in the last stint, of course. He has the freshest tire, so he will gain on both Kowalski and Dugoketsky. But with 17 minutes to go, I don't think it will benefit him too much. So he should stay on P3. But the most important question is, Dugoketsky or Kowalski? Two Polish drivers here on Sebring trying to get the win. Given it all. Ko Kowalski is little ill, is the last information I got from his crew. <laughs> Joking a bit, guys. But hey... So Tevs with a good result before if he can finish that. So the Speed Eagles, beautiful car, chasing the Kowalski Motorsports. 14 minutes to go, 12 seconds. So he's gaining a bit, that's for sure. Yeah. So Gedike at his second stop now. He decides to yeah, leave the tires. He says medium is good enough, I need medium, I like them. So he switches to the medium tire. Yes, that's his stop, pit stop. As Dugoketsky flies with 12 minutes to go, 10 seconds left, so. He is like one, to one second faster per lap. 10 minutes remaining, so only five laps, so the last five laps. So it's a 201.5 for Kowalski, 200.4 was the last lap for them. So he is really gaining, so 9 minutes, 9 seconds, 1 second per lap, that could be close. So you will see him already, I think, coming... Oh, the camera just switched, I'm sorry. Yeah, no big crashes in this race somehow, everyone managed to be safe, but that's the endurance racing, it's a little bit different feeling of driving. It's a long race, you don't want to be first in the first half hour, you want to be first at the end of the race. So uh, Kowalski then, very strategic race of course, 7 minutes, 7 seconds uh, the gap. Kowalski tries everything, he's sweating I bet, his tires should go off now. Very difficult with the soft tires at the end, we run 2 times tire wear for this cup. Then 6.3 seconds to go. Kowalski, there you see Dukatsky already closing, seeing him. When you see him, he, he like, yeah, he he smells him. He wants to now go really 
into him, right? And overtake him. So when you see him, it, it can give you another push, you know, for a racing driver. If you already see, like, yeah, it's, it's like a lion see, sees the gazelle, you know? Ah, he's going, he's moving. See, I'll tell you that. He will not let up. Also Kowalski, he found some pace, at least at the end. So he manages to find some pace at the end, but it's still six seconds only. Viani then comes in for another stop. Um, yeah, bad strategic rate, lots of, yeah, bad luck for Viani this time, for, bad luck for Dimazo who comes in for yet another stop. I think some fuel was missing because he refueled 9%, so he ran out of fuel at the end, so 3 minutes 50 to go. Yeah, both can finish the race though, and will save some points and, yeah, prepare for round 2, I guess. It's not the result they hoped for, I guess, but, um... It's not a bad one, at least. We need more drivers, though. So, and we are looking for live commentators. So, if you like, you know someone who can live commentate, just yeah, just comment. Tell me, I'm open for new things and open to develop this YouTube channel a bit as well. So Kowalski then on P1, one minute twenty to go, four seconds. So he really found some pace at the end. You can clearly see that. Yeah, and the tire of Dugoketsky, of course, from pushing so hard. Will let off a bit, that's that's for sure. So, the race is over. It's just a sprint to the finish line now. Three seconds to go. Uh, three seconds gap between those two. Sovik is 50 seconds behind. Tevs is 72 seconds behind. Cook is 115 seconds behind. But uh, top five, very good uh, for them. Finish top five is always nice. Finish top three is even nicer. And to win the race is even better. So, still... Uh, still he can make a mistake and throw it away so three seconds it's only one mistake one going off track only last corner who will win it it looks like Kowalski has the upper hand the last corner can still throw you out but three seconds that's a lot so Dugoketsky tried it all with a brilliant uh, second stint say with Kowalski had a strategic upper hand here this time he's the world he's the champion by the way from last season so he will try everything to maintain it so Kowalski wins for Kowalski Motorsports in his freshly painted car let's go Dugoketsky finishes on P2 what a nice long endurance race we do that one every yeah once once a month on Mondays we do that so there you have the complete results Kowalski for Kowalski Motorsports P1 Dugoketsky for Speed Eagles P2 Sovik for AT Cores P3 Tevs for UP Racing P4 Cook for UK Zim Racer P5 Schultz for AT Cores and that's just too fast I will try to make it a little slower for next videos. I'm sorry, guys. We see the driver standings. Kowalski, 132 points. Dugoketsky, 125. Sovic, 105. Yeah, you can pause it if you want to see it. And you can see it on Log Analyzer if you're on my Discord as well. So, good result for 80 cores. Kowalski lags a teammate. Speed Eagles will have the teammate for next race. So, the grid is still continuing to grow. Um, yeah, you can sign up as well in the middle of the season. And we will have penalty weights now for the for P1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for next race. So that will be very interesting. So the drivers who finished between 5 and 10 will have a better chance now. As we see the penalties again here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for driving. Don't forget to subscribe and like, of course. So we will come back um, with GTE. Uh, yeah. On what day is it? We will see the banner in a short time, short amount of time. So I will tell you, as we see the nice pictures of Sebring, very well, well done track. Studio 397 did a good job on that one. It's a DLC. The cars are DLC. We also run free cars, but not for now. There comes the music. So we are back on Monday, February 21st for race two on Le Mans. 75 minutes, 25 minutes quali, 75 minutes race. Yeah, there we have month two. BTC TTS will come soon. GTE TM, GT3 DTS, F191, Classic Grand Prix, and F3 Trophy will come soon. So don't miss that. You be there or not, you know. Bye bye.